as local hospital beds are filling up with COVID patients again. Frontline workers are filling the strain. And there's a new kind of frustration as they see unvaccinated COVID patients struggling to live. I talked to an ICU doctor at St. Luke's who has a strong message for all of us. Like other hospitals across the metro, St. Luke's is once again working overtime. It's ICU filled with COVID-19 patients. If somebody gets well enough to be transferred out, we have people waiting in the wings to be admitted. But there is a difference from earlier in the pandemic. These patients are in their 20s, 30s, and 40s. It's hard on staff. It's discouraging. So many very young, previously healthy patients who um, chose not to get vaccinated and now have very significant COVID disease um, on ventilators, um, on advanced life support. Dr. Carol Freiberger is a critical care physician at St. Luke's. She believes this spike in COVID patients could have been prevented if more people were vaccinated. And for those who question that. I say you haven't seen what I have seen. Um, and the heartbreak of families um, when their loved ones are struggling for their lives. From somebody uh, on the front lines, somebody who sees this every single day. This is not scare tactics. We're not trying to sensationalize anything. This is a deadly disease, and this is a disease that could be prevented. While local hospitals are urging patients to only go to emergency rooms for true emergencies, doctors don't want anyone to avoid getting care. They're recommending you seek out your primary care physician or possibly urgent care clinics when that's possible.